iOS 18 has introduced a whole new control center that looks different and is customizable. You can add or remove controls, resize controls, and move controls between pages right from the control center. Now, even third-party apps can offer controls for the control center, making it even more useful. That said, the new update might feel confusing to some users. So here is your complete guide to iOS 18 control center. Like in iOS 17, you can bring down the control center in iOS 18 by swiping down from the top right corner of your iPhone. You will notice that there are multiple pages in the control center. You can swipe between pages or slide your fingers on the page icons to move between them. I like that you don't have to invoke the control center to change pages. You can launch the control center to any page with a quick swipe down motion without lifting your finger. iOS 18 Control Center has four default pages. The first page is the same as the Control Center in iOS 17 with connectivity and music controls at the top. What changes this year is that these controls are removable. We'll talk more about this in the customization section of this guide. You will also notice a power button in the top right corner. You can long press on it to get to the power off menu. In the top left corner, you will see a plus button that you can use to get into editing mode. The second page houses the music controls displaying your recently played music, podcast and audiobooks. Below the titles, you get the buttons to play and pause audio, skip buttons and a volume toggle. There's also an airplay button to cast audio to your home pod. The third page houses your home kit controls. Since I only have a home pod mini, there's nothing much to see here. If you have an established home kit setup, you will see all your devices here. Finally, the last page shows you connectivity controls including Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, AirDrop, cellular data, and more. In iOS 18, you can customize the control center to suit your purposes. You can add or remove toggles, move them around, and resize them to fit your needs. Let's see how you can remove control center toggles. To remove a control center toggle, long press anywhere in the empty area or tap the plus button in the top left corner to enter customization mode. Here. Tap the minus sign on top of the control you want to remove and it will delete it. Tap anywhere on the empty area again to get out of customization mode. To add a control to the control center, enter the customization mode and tap the add a control button at the bottom. It will open a new panel giving you access to all the available controls. You can scroll to look for a control or use the search field to find it. Tap the toggle you want to add and it will slot into an empty space. You can also resize control center toggles to take more or less space on the page. Note that some toggles cannot be resized to all shapes. To resize a toggle, enter the customization mode. You will see a drag handle next to all the controls. You can drag it to increase or decrease the size of the control. Several control center toggles offer extra layouts and features when you make them bigger. For example, the music page houses the full version of the music control you see on the first page. If I make it shorter, you can see it's the same toggle. Now that we have learned how to add or remove control center toggles, let's see how you can add or remove control center pages. As you saw, the third page showing home controls is pointless to me. Instead of keeping it, I can remove it to reduce the clutter. Sadly, there's not a single toggle to remove a page. You have to remove all the controls added to remove a page. Since there's only one toggle here, it's easy for me. But if you have multiple controls on a page, you will have to remove all of them to get rid of the page. You can also add new pages to your control center. Long press to enter editing mode and swipe up the pages till you land on a fresh one. Now add a toggle on this page to make it stick. Like home pages on iPhone, you cannot create an empty control center page. You have to have at least one control there. If you deleted the home or music page in the control center and you want to re-add them, you can do it. The home and music pages in control center are just the large version of their control center toggles. Let's say I want to bring back the home kit page. I will go into editing mode and swipe up to a new page. Now I will add the home toggle and use the drag handles to make it full size. And that's it. I have brought back the home page. Similarly, you can add the music page if you have deleted it. Now you know everything you need to know about customizing the control center toggles. That's all we have for this video. Watch this video next to learn how to add missing Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, AirDrop and hotspot toggles. Our next control center video will focus on all the new apps that offer control center toggles. If you don't want to miss out on it, do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.